Hello, Juan. Juan Carlos, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Good, good. Always the first one to start the class. Excellent. I'm, I'm very proud of you. How was your day today? Um, a little, little tight. Um, I, I went to celebrate uh, another uh, birthday. Um, but uh, we we went to eat a uh, Wendy's hamburger. Um, we went to play um, maquinita. <laughs> It's funny, it's funny today. Oh, how interesting. Where, where did you say you went? Uh, uh, we went to eat to uh, Wendy's, but um, we went to play. I don't know how to how to say its name. I don't know, but I, I, I match. Uh, Maquinitas, I don't know. Um, game machines. Game machines, sorry. Um, uh, algo para, but sorry, look like, looks like a... Uh, se me olvida. La verdad que en español, no, ni, ni en español no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Se da algo como hockey de hielo. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I understand. Air hockey. Uh, hockey in, in, the, in the table, uh, but uh, what funny, what funny. Yeah, air, air, air you, you call it air hockey. Air hockey. Okay. Yes. Yeah, air hockey. That's interesting. Well, sounds like you had a lot of fun. Yes, yes. Um, my boss uh, is invited in, in, in labor labor hours, but uh, uh, he don't care. Uh, he he wants to want in, in pasado want no want. I don't remember once in, in past simple, but. Um, uh, want uh, you? You're you're talking about want? the word want? Yes, he wants to do it. Uh, uh, want, want is wanted. Wanted. Oh, okay, okay. He wants it uh, to do it. Uh, we we went to play. That's nice. I I I would love to have your job. <laughs> Sounds like a good <laughs> fun uh, job. Sometimes, sometimes. Good, yeah. good. Okay, well, let me say hi to everybody else. How are you, everybody? Good evening, everyone. I'm fine. Good to see you, everyone. Everybody, sorry. Good, good to see you, Maximiliano. Welcome, and uh, welcome, everybody else. Uh, welcome, welcome, Glenda. Welcome Esther, welcome Elena, welcome Sarayi, um, Josavet, uh, welcome uh, Patricia, and uh, welcome Nancy as well. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How, are, how is everybody? Good teacher, thank you. Fine, what teacher. about you? Um, well, uh, I'm I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. I'm I'm I I, I, just, I had a good day today. I would say I have it. I had a good day. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you guys again today. Um. Well, uh, what we're gonna be doing uh, today actually is, is we're gonna be continuing. 
Yesterday we started a little bit with the topic about the future using um, the the what's it called the future we're going to, and also using uh, will. And today we're going to continue with that topic. Uh, by the way, uh, I sent you two um, two links yesterday for you to try. Um, I only received. Hey, good for you, Juan Carlos. Can I see? I I, I can't. I, I couldn't see it very well. Can you see it? Can you put it again? Very good. Hey, excellent. Bravo. Bravo, Juan Carlos. Very good. Very good. Okay, excellent. So I, I see that um, that uh, Juan Carlos was able to do it. And what about the rest of you? I only received uh, one more person that sent it to me. You didn't have to send it to me, right? I didn't ask you to do that. But I did want to know how it went. How were your scores? Teacher, in my case, I only do the first link and my score is 9 of 10. 9 out of 10? Yes, 9 out of the 10. Hey, bravo! Very good, Elena. Excellent. That was very good. Thank you. Okay, very good. All right, what about the rest of you? For me, teacher, sorry, I didn't do the test on platform on the link. I just write the, the statement on, on my notebook. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to try that that's way. I'm sorry. I didn't understand you yesterday. So oh, it's okay. Don't worry, my son. No, that, like I said, this is not for me. Um, you didn't have to send it to me. Um, the only reason is I'm asking is because I want to know how you are doing, you know, if, if, if you understand, if you had problems with it, um, you know, that, that's the only reason, right? But you could have done it any way you wanted to, right? So, um, and if you want to try it later, if you want to do it later and, and get a score, you can do that too as well. Okay, Maximino? Do, do you know how to get a score? Next. Yeah, exactly. So um, there's a part where, where when it says finished, um, it says it gives you the option, I think, of, of sending it to the teacher um, or send or just getting the score. And so you just press getting the score and it will automatically give you the grade. So it's very easy. It's very, very easy. Okay. So um, so try try to do it um, if you can, right? What about the rest of you? What what grades did you get? <laughs> That's what 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 were the your grades? I heard I already heard that some people got nines, other people got tens. There were some sevens in there. What else? What what did you guys get for your score? And my score uh, was seven because I think it's a little uh, confused, the exercise. It was confusing. Confusing, yeah. It was confusing. What was so confusing about it, Patricia? I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know how do you say, but it's difficult, uh, la diferencia, <laughs> notar la diferencia. When I need to use a uh, will and going to. Okay, okay, that's fair, and that's what we're gonna we're here for to be able to, um, to answer those questions and make sure that you don't have any more doubts, right? Okay, what about the rest of you? Okay, don't don't be afraid of telling me um, if you have, you know. Even if you have a four or a five, that's okay. That will give me an opportunity to understand what, you know, if you guys are having any problems. So, uh, any questions? Uh, uh, what, what were the grades that you guys had? Teacher, in my case, in my case uh, 
I have uh, seven to ten because uh, me too are very confused. Um, some some sentences um, some sentences uh, talk about the future, about the about the intention uh, or the plans, and I confuse it uh, always. Okay, using the going to or will or will for the future. Okay. 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 That's fair enough. That's okay. Um, and, and I just wanted, that's what I want you guys to tell me, right? Um, but you know what? Even a seven out of 10 is not a bad grade. So I just wanted to let you know that, that, that even if you got seven out of 10, that's not a bad thing. You did actually pretty good. So that's great. Good for you. Um, you know, and, and really, I mean, if you think about it, getting a seven out of 10, when, you know, I just, we did a brief ex introduction about it yesterday, it's not bad at all. So, um, you know, give yourself a pat on the shoulder if you, if you got seven out of, out of 10, that's very good. That's very, very good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is I will, um, I will share my, the, 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 the whiteboard and we'll get um, we'll get going on the explanation here so that you guys are able to understand this a little bit better. So just give me a moment and tell me when you can see the whiteboard. I can see teacher. Yes, teacher, I can see the whiteboard. Yes, me too. Okay, that's perfect. All right, great. So now that everybody can see it, let's start working on it. Um, so like I said, these are all about, this is future, these are future forms. Um, and, and something I, I, I must, let you know and I, I talked about this yesterday but i just want to remind you that both of these structures have different functions that we use it for so um so you may find that uh for example if you investigate on the internet you might find more information about other reasons why we we would use the the future be going to um but in general oh, but said okay um or also the the um the, the the simple future we also have other reasons why we use it but right now for the purpose of this class uh, we're going to be learning about something in specific okay so let's talk right today we're going to be talking about the future the future okay all right, so the future, like I said, um, has two faces basically um, for, for the purpose of this, of this topic. Uh, and the first one we said, what was the name of the first one? Going to. Auxiliar going to. I will. Subject. Okay, so the first one that we're, we're going to be talking about is called the future be going to, right? And can somebody remind me why we use the future be going to? What did we say about the future be going to? When you talk about the the plans or intention intention we have for the future, exactly, we have future um, plans or intentions. So these are things that you've already thought about it. Um, you know, maybe you're not one hundred percent sure that it's going to happen because maybe um you are thinking that it you know 
you haven't talked to anybody about it and so you're not completely sure that that will happen uh, for sure but this is what you're thinking about you've been thinking about it you you you've thought about it many many times so this is something for the, f the future be going to to give you some examples we use this a lot when we're talking about our plans let's say um, the plans for this week what are your plans for this week um, we can say just give me a moment um, let's change the color Okay, so um, for example, we can say, oh, let me, hmm. okay, that's better. Okay, so you can say, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to the supermarket. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm going to buy some groceries at the supermarket. Okay, so that could be uh, some plans that you made, right? So you it's not something for sure it's not you don't have to like you can you really wouldn't say that this is a definite plan right it's not something that you would say oh i'm going to plan this very carefully i have to call this person and make sure that this happens you know going to the super sorry supermarket now supermarkets or <laughs> sorry about that um okay so if this is not something that requires you know a big planning but it's something that you've thought about. You said, okay, you've thought about it in your head and you say, hmm, okay, I don't have, I don't have very much food in my fridge. Um, and, um, you know, I've ran out of a lot of, uh, like, a, I, I don't have bread. I don't have um, a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables. So I need to go to the supermarket. So I'm going to go, let me see. I think I, I have time. I think I'm gonna have time on Thursday after work so i'm going to stop by the supermarket and i'm going to buy some groceries so those are things that you think about yeah so you you plan them in your head at least right you have that intention okay does that make sense so far yes teacher yes teacher okay good um, the other thing that we do, uh, sorry, the other, the, another, uh, um, um, another sample that we can put is like, for example, um, she, she's going to, um, she's going to visit her grandmother, um, at the hospital tomorrow okay so if your grandmother is sick at the hospital you are obviously going to go visit her right but this is not something that requires a lot of planning it's just something you've thought about you say yes well my grandmother is sick you know and so I have to go see her tomorrow maybe well the visiting hours are from 12 to 2 so I'm gonna use my I will use uh, I'm gonna use my my uh, lunch hour to go and visit her a few minutes and see how she is doing right so this is something like I said you these are your plans that you have but you really don't it's not something that you have like definite plans right it has to be that time maybe in fact um, you know there are two visiting hours maybe the one is from 12 to to two and the other one is from I don't know five to six and so you decide well you know if I don't go uh, from 12 to 2 I can go from from five to six but your plan your idea is to visit your, 
or is it, her plan is to visit her grandmother at the hospital, okay? All right, and the last one we can say, for example, is we're going to um, work, we're going to work um, all week on this project, okay? Again, this doesn't really require a lot of a planning. It's not like, wow, you have, you're 100% sure, but those are the intentions that you have. As a, as a group, you, you decide, okay, we're gonna work all week on this project. Hopefully we'll finish by the end of the week, okay? Now, I also talked about making it negative, and that's also another possibility. Just wanna make sure that you understand it exists. So, uh, for example, we can say, um, she or yeah, um, let's say they aren't going to, um, they aren't going to uh, have a soccer game this week. So the plan is not, the plan is not to have the soccer game this week, okay? So everybody's talked about it. Those are the intentions, right? Okay, so, so far so good. Any questions about this? No question for me. Teacher. Teacher, yeah? in the video of the platform, uh, say the, the we used going to when decide to the plan is go is is a decision and will is when you know sure about the plan <laughs> correct yes we'll get to the will in a moment okay so in this case like i said this is yes it's your intention you have decided to do that it's not 100 percent sure because you you these are just things that you have in your head you when you make a decision it's things that are in your head right um so it's not so much about things that you have you know made a, an arrangement for no it's not radio but it's more of the the intention that is in your head or in your heart does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right. Now, um, I wanted to uh, call your attention to the different, the, to the structure that we're using, right? So make sure that you un do understand the structure. We saw it yesterday, right? We're always going to be used. Oh, uh, let me. Let me change it to the circle here. Okay. So something you've got to be careful with is always make sure that we, okay, this is super, super, super important that we're always using the, the verb to be, okay? In this case, I have decided to use the verb to be in the contraction form, okay? I have decided to, I did, um, exercises yesterday I didn't put the contraction but in this one I've decided to put contraction so that you are able to see it that it always exists so even if you can't hear it very well but it is always going to exist okay um, so the, we cannot use the future be going to without a form of, of, um, of B okay um, over here as well we have the form of B and over here, we also have the form of B, and this one is um, special because it's in the negative form. Okay, so I did that on purpose, putting that in the negative form. Okay, so you can also use it in the negative. Okay, now the other thing is, um, we always have to use the be going to, right? If you notice, all of them, without an exception, use be going to, okay? So we say over here we have um, going to, going to, and it, like I said, it doesn't really matter what um, what the subject 
is, it's always going to be going to, okay? And then be careful that we the verb has to always be in the base form, okay? So we're not going to change anything. You're not going to um, you're, you're not going to put it into, for example, with an S. Like you're not going to say buys, right? Or or you're not going to put it in the past like uh, visited, right? Nothing like that. Um, instead, you're going to be you're going to be using the the base form, right? Okay, we're not going to put it ing form. We're not going to put. Um, I'm sorry, just give me a moment. Okay. All right, so we have buy, we have visit, we have work. Okay, so that's a structure that we're always going to use. Okay, and actually, I'm going to tell you something a little bit. This is uh, something that um, you may know or you may not know, and I just want to let you know about this. Um, with the uh, trying to okay here it is okay with um with the uh, future be going to um uh, with the future be going to uh it's very important that you notice that with all the verbs we use the base form of the verb. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, um, with all of the verbs that we have here, um, the what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the, the base form of the verb, except when it comes to the verb go. Okay, when it comes to the verb go, um, there's an exception there because normally, like native speakers, we do not use the verb go. It's not very common to say, I'm going to go. Okay, so for example, if, if you notice, um, somebody suggested me putting, okay, I'm going to go to the, to the supermarket. And uh, what I did is I, I, I took the idea but I didn't write go. And the reason is because I did it on purpose because in in what we do with na like native speakers, what we do is the following. So, let, for example, if you say, um, I'm not, or I said, I'm going, that's it. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the beach this this uh, Friday. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach this Friday. Now, um, as native speakers, it doesn't really sound very good. It doesn't sound very good to be repeating "going to go," right? So instead, what we do is uh, we we add. Or better said, sorry, we don't add. We eliminate the to go. Okay, so when we end up just saying, I'm going to the beach this Friday. Okay, does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do now is... Um, something I want to add one more thing which is the question the question form it, the question form is exactly what we would do with any other verb with the verb to be we simply just switch it around and put the verb to be at the beginning so in for example in this one um, I'm gonna change it to a black maybe that will be better okay so I'm going to buy some groceries at the supermarket the question would be um, am I going going to buy blah 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 right I'm, I'm not going to finish off because you guys already get the idea am I going to buy you know some groceries at the supermarket 
So that's what we're, what we're going to simply do is change the I am to am I. Simple as that. Okay? And the same thing here. She's going to visit her grandmother at the hospital tomorrow. What would be the what would be the question? Is she, is she going to visit her more at the hospital tomorrow? Exactly. Yeah. Is she going to visit her grandmother at the hospital tomorrow? Right. Okay. So that that um, would be the question. And over here, what would be the question? Are we going to work all week on this project? Good. And what about this question? Are they going to have a soccer game this week? Wonderful. And this one would be? Am I going to the beach this Friday? Or are you going to this Friday? Sure, that, yeah, we can do that too, right? If, if it's a question directly towards somebody and someone is going to answer, we could also say, instead of am I, you can, you can ask directly and say, are you, right, going to the beach? Blah, 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 right, okay. All right, so does that, is that clear for everybody? Is this no problem? Yes, it's clear, teacher. Yes, teacher. No problem, teacher. Wonderful. And of course, the answer. I'm going to write quickly the answer. What would the answer be? Am I going to buy some grocery stores at the supermarket? Yes, I'm going. Yes, yes I'm going to buy. Yes, I am. Exactly. Short answer would be just simply, yes, I am. Period. That's it. Yes, I am. And the reason is because, remember, short answers only use the auxiliary. And in this case, the auxiliary would be the verb to be. So it could be, yes, I am, or... No, I'm not. Yeah, thank you, very good. Or you could say, no, I'm not. Okay, so that, that's the other possibility. Okay. Um, okay, and what about, uh, what about the, this one right over here? Is she going to visit blah, blah, blah? What's the answer? Yes, she's, the answer positive, yes, she's. Good. Yes, she is. Or? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Good. Over here, are we going to work? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, no, we aren't. And no, we aren't. Good. Okay. Excellent. Um, let me just accommodate here. Okay this one a little bit up okay good and what about this one over here the last the second to last yes they are
good. Yes, they are or? No, they aren't. Good. And this one, last one? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Good. Okay. So we have established here uh, the sentence, affirmative negatives, questions, and short answers, right? So this is complete. So when do we use future be going to? Can somebody remind me what is the reason why we're gonna be using the future be going to? is to talk about the plans or inventions that we have for the future. Exactly. Plans or intentions we have for the future, right? We have decided to have these plans or intentions, right? But like I said, decisions means when you decide something, what it means is simply that you're going to be, um, you, you're going to be, it's something that it's in your head or in your heart, but you really haven't made a specific plan for it. So it's not something that is, um, you know, 100% positive uh, that it's going to happen. It's more something that you want to happen because you have decided to happen. Does that make sense? Yes, sure. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is quite straightforward. Now, the other one, the, the one that is a little bit less um, straightforward, I would say, and, 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 and I would say that it's a little bit less straightforward simply because um, with this one, there are so many different reasons why we can use it, but we're gonna be talking specifically about one reason. Um, so this is what we call the future be going to future, oh, hold on, just give me a moment, future, sorry, so if you, sorry, <gasps> I'm so sorry, um, the future simple, or the simple future, okay, um, will. and this is when we use will, okay, so using will, okay, or what's the negative of will, just making sure you all remember, want, want, want right okay so future simple is using will or using won't okay so just keep that in mind um now uh, you like i said this is actually something that we use for many 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 different reasons but one of the reasons why we use it who can who, who can tell me who remembers Anybody? When we are not 100% sure about what will happen. Exactly, we're not 100% sure what will happen. Why are we not 100% sure? Well, simply because um, it's probably something that we have decided in that moment it's just something that we say oh, yeah i think it's a good idea yeah so it's something that you kind of not really decided very very much upon you haven't really thought about it it's just something that comes to your head does that make sense yeah have sense 
Yes, yes, sure. It's something like the future simple or simple future. It doesn't depend about me. It's correct. The idea. Mm, not necessarily. It could depend on you, but simply that you you have made that decision. Um, or better said, no. Let, let, okay, forget my words. You have you haven't really thought of that decision. It's just something that you kind of decide in that moment. It's new, you just came to your hand and you say, ah, oh, this is a good idea. But you really haven't really thought about it. Does that make sense? It makes sense, makes sense. Thank you. Okay, so um, when when you're talking about, about this, uh, there are some things that that um, could indicate to you that it's um, that it's not you're not sure about it that it's kind of like something that you you kind of decide in the moment you really haven't thought about it um, so we can use words for example I guess oh, hold on give me one second let's change that um, all right, I guess I will, um, I guess I will try calling her back later. So imagine, imagine that, um, or, okay, imagine that the person, uh, so you, you call your best friend, let's say. And um, you call, you're calling her on the cell phone or you're calling him on the cell phone and um, he doesn't pick up or she doesn't pick up. And so you say, mm, well, I guess I'll try calling her back later. So it's just something that you've decided in that moment. You really haven't thought about it. You're not sure about it. Instead, it's something that um, the person kind of can decide that in that moment, it's, it sounds like a good idea. So we say, we use these words um, like, I guess, um, let me just underline it right here. Okay, so we can use words like, I guess. There's another, uh, something else that we can use which is, sorry, another, another, um, other structures that we could use, for example, would be, um, I, I think, think we saw this yesterday. I think, um, I will, um, Okay, so for example, it says, I think I will pay this now to avoid any late fees. Okay, um, do you understand uh, late fees? Not this sure. year. I don't understand meaning. Me neither. I don't understand the sentence. Me either. Okay, let me explain what this means. Um, let's say that you are, uh, you have a service. Let's say your the service is um, water. Okay, let's say you you have you know your you have water in your home, right? You need to, and you get a bill, right? You get a bill every month for the uh, for the for the water. It's like a payment. Okay, so, yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So you have your bill every month that it comes for the water, and maybe the bill is not going to be it's not going to be due and it doesn't expire until maybe i don't know um march 5th okay march 5th it today is february 16th it's very far away but you say okay well i think i will pay it 
I will pay this, like the talking about the bill, I will pay this or I will pay this bill now to avoid, avoid, do you understand the word avoid? No. Avoid, evitar. To avoid. Exactly, evitar, okay? So I will pay this now. Extra payment, teacher. To avoid late fees. What are late, what are late fees? It's something like don't pay more. Yeah. Don't pay more. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. That this is what late fees are, uh, what they charge you. It's like a penalty that the company charges you uh, when you pay late. So, for example, it's March, it, the, the bill due, is due on March 5th, and you pay it on March the 7th. Then you have to pay a late fee. The, the company says, oh, you did a bad thing. You didn't pay it on the time that you were supposed to pay it. So now you have to pay more. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's like... Sorry, it's like what? It's like tomorrow. Yeah, it's what we know in El Salvador as mora, right? In other countries, you know it is different, as something different. But um, it, it's like un cobro tardío, right? Okay, so I think I will pay this now. So in you're saying you didn't really think about it. It wasn't something that you planned. Okay, I'm going to plan to pay it now. No, you probably got the bill today, and in this moment you decide that you will pay it to avoid any late fees, right? So it's not something um, that you're very sure about, but that's just something that you've decided in that moment. No previous planning. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh, I another difference between going to going to and will is that will don't use uh, the verb to be teacher. Correct. Yes, it doesn't use the verb to be. You're right. Okay. Now um, let's talk about another one. We can also use the word may. Um, maybe. Okay. So we could say maybe. Uh, we'll. Maybe we'll stay, um, we'll stay um, at home this weekend instead of going out. Okay, so well, maybe we'll stay at home this weekend instead of going out. So what we're saying is, yeah, I think maybe it's a better, it's, you haven't really decided, it's like you're not really sure about it. Maybe, yeah, it's a possibility that we'll stay at home this weekend instead of going out. Do you understand this sentence? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And, um, all right. And the last one I'm going to show you is this one. It, I Okay, um, I probably won't be here when you come back. So you really haven't decided upon it, that, but that sounds like the idea, right? The best way, right? I probably won't be here when you come back. So you really haven't decided. Maybe you're going to be going some another place, but you really haven't decided. But it's something that you're you're thinking. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a possibility. Okay, so words. Like I said, words like I guess, um, another word could be, for example, um, 
I think okay, maybe I probably okay so those are words that tell us that you're not really sure about what to do that's just you haven't really decided it's something just that you know you think it's a good idea um, or you have decided in that moment but you really haven't given a prior thought so basically oh well that is it wait before we continue let me um, circle here so make sure that you are always using um, will okay uh, always 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 use will okay and it all it also can be used will can also be used in the contraction form like we used here will okay so the contraction of will we uh, we will is will right so that's always make sure you use the contract the the will okay or the negative form and the negative form is won't okay and then of course we're going to be using the um the verb in the base form right so we have try we have will sorry will sorry pay we have stay We have stay and we have a B, right? So notice notice that um, we're using the base form of the verb, not any other form, because this is this is not even the pres the, the simple present, because if it was a simple present, then it would say I probably won't M, right? But it's not won't M, it's won't B. Okay, so make sure of that. Now, um, quick, just quick question, um, what would be the question for each one? Just making sure that you understand what would be the question for each one. I guess I will try calling her back later. What would be the question? Guess I. Will I. I try calling her back later. Back later. Okay, yeah, exactly. Will I try blah 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 blah? Right? Uh this one would be Will I pay? This is weird. I don't know for some reason. My, my, um, oh, what's going on? Okay, let me try that. Uh, okay, so, oh, I know what I'll do. Okay, will I pay? My goodness, what is wrong? My, let me just give me a second, guys. My keyboard seems to be stuck. Just give me a moment.
Sorry guys, I have no idea what ha what just happened. Um it just is I wanna Um Yeah, that's fine instead, don't worry about it. Thank you for letting us know. Um sorry guys, I don't know why my all of a sudden I my keyboard seems to be having this um what's it called like a like a oh, what's it called like a lock seems like it's locked i don't know why all of a sudden it got locked anyways okay but you guys understand the idea right the the important thing is that you are able to understand how to make the the the, the, the sentences and with the questions now um just make sure everybody um make sure that uh, when you are uh, using the simple future um, and you're asking or better said these you these are not always going to contain these words so sometimes it will be just I will try I will pay I'll stay I won't be blah blah blah, blah. okay um, so notice over here um, this one is not going like over here we all we always had let me actually let me show you something. Notice over here we had the um, the subject I. In this one we have again I. This one we have the we. Okay, but in this one we don't have anything. Okay, so with this structure right here we have to use I probably right. So there's nothing over here. It's just completely blank. So just remember that as well. Um, Let's see, and what would else? Have, oh, okay. So basically, what is the main difference between the future be going to and the future simple? The difference is that this one requires a previous, um, previous thought, previous um, planning. Okay, this one doesn't. This is something more of. I really haven't thought about it. Um, I'm going to make the decision right now, or I'm going to decide later. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. How you understand? Okay, perfect. So basically, that's the difference between these two. So if you're if you're wondering, you know, I, I if you're saying, you know, I I really don't understand the difference between these two. Pretty much the difference is that this one requires previous planning. This one requires more thought to it. You have to, you know, you probably have thought about it many times. This one either you have not thought about it very much. Or you haven't made a decision yet about it okay so that's basically the difference all right and uh, remember that the the uh, pos the apostrophe the the, 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 con the contraction would be apostrophe LL for all of them so it would be I'll you'll he'll ill it'll she'll um, will they'll Okay, that's gonna how, that's gonna be how it's gonna work. Okay, any questions about this so far? Not this year. Not this year. Okay, in that case, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. All right, guys. So that's going to be all for today. Um, I want you to, I, I think you should have more than enough um, information there to be able to complete section five now. And if possible, the final exam. Okay. Um, tomorrow, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to be practicing the use of the future be going to and the will. And uh, on 
on Thursday, we'll be able to see the final exam together if there are any questions, okay? So that will be all for everybody. Um, would you like me to send you more, um, more uh, exercises to try out? Yeah. Yes, Excellent. Teacher. Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, I'll do that. All right, guys, take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Thank you very much.